Last week, we had a really good week. Like a really good week. We even got some new commits out of it. And Mason Bean won NCAA Player of the Week again. We've moved up to number four in the conference standings. And now, we have a ton of points we can spend on recruiting, upgrades we can add to our coaches. We'll be playing against Old Dominion in this episode, but first we have to get through the bye week. We've got some recruiting to do before that, but I'm super hyped Tony Hines finally commit to the team. The 96 speed wide receiver is going to be an absolute stud for us. I'm going to scout a bunch of new prospects to see if we missed out on any potential talent. I was able to find three really solid corners I think we could redshirt and develop really well. But we have nothing else to do. It's time to advance to week 11. Before we jump into our game today, we have to do a little bit more recruiting. We did get 73 overall Travis Silva to commit to the school. And I'm going to put my extra 2,000 points on these four players right here. We're starting to fall far behind on Carl Pierre. So let me know down below if I should give up on him. There isn't anything else to cover in recruiting, but our stadium average attendance is starting to go up. We're averaging almost 7,000 people now, and at the beginning of the season, that was under 3,000. We have a rain game today at NKU, and this one could get sloppy. Welcome to Nippert Stadium. Your NKU Norse are starting out on offense here, and it's probably going to have to be a run-heavy game for us. We'll definitely end up mixing in the short passes, though, like this one to Robert Burns. Oh my gosh, this is a huge second play. He's got the speed, one player to beat. What a huge start to the game right there. Now we're gonna go with the read option, pitch it to Adrian Nelson, and we're not getting anywhere. Which means here on third and seven, we are gonna need a dot for Mason Bean. It gets deflected by the offensive line. We're gonna give Cam Newton a shot to make this field goal. The soccer player is used to kicking balls in the rain, and he barely gets it in. I think the best thing we can do is blitz the QB in this type of weather. If it works out for us, we need to be guarding the flats. Last week, our defense came out and won us the game. This week, it's gonna have to do the same. Their QB's taken off. And Wilson Insko forces a fumble. Trayvon Faulkner couldn't pick it up. That could have been such a huge start on defense. That is so unfortunate. Now they're going with the run, and we're locking that up. I'm blitzing this five wide. It didn't work out for me at all. They're throwing the hitch. I almost got the pick. And here we go. I don't know what play this is. They're thrown underneath, and we lock it up. Pump me my rock back. That was a solid start defensively. We were able to force a fumble in the rain, and now Robert Burns is getting to the outside. Go, buddy. Could this finally be the Robert Burns breakout game? Mason Bean's getting nowhere on the read option. We have a huge third and 12 right here. We need to pick it up. Adrian Nelson is getting open on the corner route. There we go. That is exactly what we need right there. Now I'm going to come out and throw the slant to Quan Green. No, it's Bryce Oliver. He catches it and he makes a move. Look at that. Touchdown NKU. What a move by the Kentucky transfer. We're going out and we're taking an early 10-0 lead over Old Dominion in the rain. So far, I'm a pretty big fan of playing in the rain. I blitzed right there and I couldn't get in fast enough. So I'm going to drop back in coverage this play. They're going with the read option. What a pitch. Samuel Lowe makes the tackle. And now they're going with the read option again. They fake me out. They're getting the pitch off. And it's time to set our option defense to aggressive. I don't want to get faked out on any more read options. It looks like they're running the ball again here. And they're going to have the option to pitch it. I got to get out there. Oh my gosh. These runs are absolutely killing us so far. So this time I'm going to send in some pressure. We get in. Come on, Trayvon Faulkner. Someone make a tackle on the QB. Hayden Wolf is absolutely killing it for them right now. I'm watching underneath. I couldn't get there in time. It looks like they're going with the run. Trayvon Faulkner misses the tackle and they pick up the first down. Now we need to lock up on defense. Halfback draw. We're going to stop that PJ Blue with the tackle for loss. And they're going with Wildcat here. Can we stop it? Come on, Trayvon Faulkner. Make the tackle. No way. They realized that they were not going to be able to pass it all over us in the rain. So they ran it down our throats that whole drive. Jamari Brown to the outside. We need to continue to run all over them. Robert Burns gets a few yards right there. I need a third down dot, Mason Bean. Can you get it for me? Everyone's boxed in man coverage, so we're just going to take off. Mason Bean with the big run. And here we are back to Wildcat again. Robert Burns is getting nowhere. It's looking like we're going to be forced to pass it today. There we go. Dot to Bryce Oliver. And this is a huge third down right here. Mason Bean's running up the middle and he's going to get it for us. The more running we do, the better chance we have of winning, especially today in the rain. Mason Bean, oh my gosh, he's so quick. It's going to be pretty tricky to get into the end zone from here. Look at that read option. Mason Bean into the end zone. And never mind, it wasn't tricky at all. Your NKU Norse are taking a 17 to 7 lead. No kick returns. Come on. No way. We give up so many kick returns. Come on, someone catch him. That's ridiculous. It makes me want to blitz. They're going with the halfback screen. Come on, Trayvon Faulkner. Misses the tackle. Bring him down, Trinell Troutman. Let's get in there, Trayvon. Oh my gosh, their QB's taking off. Samuel Lowe with the hit. This is exactly what you don't want to do at the end of the half. 
A run play. I'm shooting the gap. What a move by the running back. Lala Davis gets into the end zone, but we do have 46 seconds to go down the field and score before the half. We need to move down this field slowly and steady. Daquan Green, get the big catch. The clock is ticking. I should have burned a timeout. Come on, we need to get this ball hiked. All right, here we go. What's open deep? I see the receiver. Look at that. Andre, pulling. Get out of bounds. I dare them to leave Adrian Nelson in one-on-one -on -one coverage right here. They did it. 6-7, Adrian Nelson. Oh, we couldn't hold on to it. We have eight seconds, and we still need to get in field goal range right here. I don't really see anything. Mason Bean, you're going to have to take off. Four, three. Oh, my gosh, what a cut. He's going to get into the end zone to end off the half. Mason Bean has been an absolute stud for us this season. What a movie just pulled off right there. And we're going into the half now with a 10 point lead. <laughs> you best believe I'm starting off the second half blitzing. Let's go Trayvon, get in there. You're so close to getting it sack. Come on. Samuel Lowe misses the tackle. Jamari Brown brings him down. Second down right here. They're probably gonna go with the run. I called it. We locked that up. All right, third down. I got stuck on the defensive line. We get the sack somehow. And Josh Ortega makes a big play for us. Now we're getting the ball back on offense, and I think we have a really good chance of winning this game. We've been playing such great football recently. Now we're going to go with the counter. Robert Burns is not getting anywhere. I'd love to just run the ball, run the game clock out, but it doesn't seem like it's going to work for us like that. Third and 15, I might throw Bryce Oliver over there. I'm not sure how that would work out. Never mind, it's covered. We'll take the halfback screen, and Robert Burns is getting nowhere. Horrible, horrible offensive possession right there. A quick three and out. Now we have to come back out on defense and lock up which I don't think will be a problem. We've been playing such great defense. I missed the tackle, Trayvon Faulkner. Come on, Jamari Brown, bring him down. We need to keep them honest by blitzing right here. I'm in that gap all day. I'm gonna continue to keep them honest right here. Come on. Oh, I was right there. Trayvon Faulkner just isn't fast enough. We could have had a user pick. I'm convinced I can get in this gap though. Oh my gosh, I had such a great read. I committed straight to the run, but I couldn't make the tackle. Third and inches right here. They're in Wildcat. No, we can't get the stop. What a tackle by Tremel Troutman. If it wasn't for him, they would have had a touchdown. Look at that defense. They're locking up for us, and we're just going to drop people back into coverage. Make them take their three here. Oh my gosh, they're picking up a ton of yards on second down. Now it's third and manageable. Yeah, they're not going to run it. We just need to lock up. They threw right at Trayvon, and now they are on fourth and three. They're being smart. They're taking their three right here and making it a one possession game. We just need to control the clock, pick up some first downs. Oh my gosh, Mason Bean just fumbled. No, no. Something always has to happen. They're in five wide right here, though. They're just thrown underneath. Come on, we got to tackle him right there. Now I'm mad. It's time to blitz. Get in there, Samuel Lowe. No. Just like that, it's a tie game. This always seems to happen to us. I cannot believe how quick everything just changed for us. Come on, Mason Bean. Big truck, pitch it. Oh my gosh, what a dumb decision. What am I doing? What am I doing? What am I doing? Make the tackle. I don't know why I did that. I have no words right now. Clearly running the ball is not for me, so we're just gonna pass it. Come on, Mason Bean. Oh, I'm not even gonna throw that. I wanted to. Instead, I'm gonna run with him. Back juke. Maybe I shouldn't be doing that. Maybe I should be sliding. Everything just happened so fast. All of a sudden, we are down seven when we were just winning by a ton. And that's a pick. That's a pick. I literally don't know how that happened like that. Now I'm trying to throw the corner out. Andre pulling. Oh my gosh, what a move. That was filthy. Logan Farley, I am hitting you in the flat as quick as I possibly can. Get it going, buddy. Are you going to get your first touchdown of the year? I am so mad at myself for blowing this game. Adrian Nelson, touchdown. All right, I was able to tie it up. We're back in this. The key to winning will be getting a stop on defense. They're going with the run, and we're locking that up. We need to protect our home field advantage. I'm blitzing. How did he get that throw off? Talk about being literally right there. Now they're going with the run to the outside, and we're going to lock that up all day. Trayvon Faulkner with the tackle. On second down, they're passing. We got to lock everything up. Good sack on the QB. Come on, defense. Third down. Oh my gosh, what a comeback route. He dropped it. The rain caused it to slip out of his hands. And boys, we are getting the ball back on offense with the chance to go down and win this game. This has been an instant classic right here. Oh my gosh, I made the wrong read. Why'd I do that? No, 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 no. I don't want to talk about it. I panicked and I panicked real bad. Like, I don't know why I just did that. Come on. Somehow we're not tackling the running back now. I'm never running those options again. I can never make the right read on the pitches. The second I realized I should have handed it off, 
to the halfback. I just panicked. Let's throw the curl route. It's not even open. Way too many mistakes. I thought I was playing a pretty good game up until that point. I really want to throw Adrian Nelson. I'm throwing it anyway. There we go. That's a dot right there. It looks like they're blitzing a little bit. Oh my gosh, I really wanted to sling it deep. We'll take our underneath the Bryce Oliver though. All right, Robert Burns, you're open. You're wide open. You better catch that. Touchdown, NKU. If there wasn't so much time left, I'd be going for two. But instead, I'll just tie the game up and we'll try to play some defense. Blitz, here I come. Here I come. Get the sack. Trayvon Faulkner. Now they're hurrying it up. They're triggered. They don't even know what just happened. All right, put a flat there. Pass commit. I like our defense. Oh my gosh, they're sending verticals deep. Oh my gosh, we get a sack on the QB. Timeout, timeout. All we have to do is lock up here on third down. I don't know what play they just ran. Our defense holds them, and now we're getting the ball back. When we've needed to stop in this game, they've come out and done the job. No more read options, no more pitches. I'm just gonna pass it. That's the best way I can hold onto the ball here. And look at that return. All right, Mason Bean. I'm asking for a dot right here. One dot. You wanna cover that route? That's cool. I'll take off instead. Slide. You all know how much I like this Z spot play. Adrian Nelson sh Oh my gosh, no. Mason Bean literally underthrew that ball. How did we get a catch? This has been a crazy game. I'm motioning out Robert Burns. They're gonna give it to me. So we'll take the flat all day. And now all we have to do is just keep winding down this clock and try to kick a field goal for the win. Cam Newton, you have been clutch in other games for us. This one's not as easy. I'm gonna have to angle it and hope for the best. Come on, let's get our third win on the season. That one's going in as well. There we go, Cam Newton. We come out and we get the win at home. Despite three fumbles from Mason Bean in the second half, we're still getting the win. We're moving on to three and six. And Mason Bean did have an amazing passing game along with the 109 yards on the ground. Robert Burns was one of our best receivers today. Adrian Nelson also had a good game and so did Bryce Oliver. Defensively, five different players got a sack and 5'8", Will Sninsko did have that forced fumble, but what a huge win that was for the Norse. We finish off the season playing against one and seven Florida Atlantic and at three and six Middle Tennessee State. So there's a chance we could still get a bowl bid at six and six if we were able to go out and win all these games but I'll see you boys in the next episode. 